Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing so that you will be notified on all new videos. If you're a return viewer, thank you very much for your ongoing support. Now, today is another birthday splurge uh, unboxing video. I did say that I'm gonna splurge in the month of June. Um, this is, I think, the third video. It must be the third or fourth. I think it's the third um, video that I've done um, of unboxing uh, during this month. So if you have missed um, those videos, please um, don't forget to check them out later if it's on, of interest. Um, first item is actually from a local department store uh, where they have a Ralph Lauren counter. Um, I wasn't specifically looking for Ralph Lauren, uh, Paul Ralph Lauren, but look at the price here. It's like half price and I couldn't um, pass out on this. Um, it's a small petite size. Um, the color is so beautiful. It's like a minty green or sage green, sort of kind of in between. It's the perfect balance of color saturation and brightness for a true winter skin tone. Um, I've actually tried on two um, sort of this uh, wool um, cashmere blend uh, sweater. Um, one is of a kind of a darker green um also very sort of saturated color but not but maybe yeah it's a, it's a much dark it's a, a darker green i thought that one would suit me better but um when i got my color palette chart out for uh true winter tone and match it against um both and also to try them out in store um, this one by far is much better for my true winter skin tone the other one works as well but in comparison this is a whole lot better and because I don't need two green sweater I just took this one so you can see here it's 10% cashmere um, and 90% wool which is perfect for the cold winter days um, in Sydney now um, and it actually matches uh, my um, yeah it, it, my other clothing items that I've recently um, uh, bought uh, to to upgrade my wardrobe uh, over the past year or so um, and I, I mean the material you would expect peeling um, here is the embroidered uh, subtle logo there uh, overall I'm quite impressed with um, the construction of this sweater you know all the seams and, and the stitching seems to be quite um, uh, substantial like it's no loose threads like hanging out next thing I got is actually as I was shopping around I walking in the shopping center I got a notification from Mecca which is a uh, sort of cosmetic uh, makeup brand um, that stores that curates lots of different um, you know brands uh, of makeup and cosmetic items around the world in in Australia um, this is completely free um, can you uh, from part of the beauty loop program or reward program um, so a full-size bottle so that's also what I picked up now I also walked into Dior um, this is more initially just to ask them about the reward system and the reason why I needed to go in was to check this out which is the Miss Dior um, solid perfume um, but also to just ask the sales associate there um, you know how, how does the freebie actually work um, because when you first join you go into the white tier uh, where it actually says you get a deluxe sample on second purchase I made a second purchase online I didn't get any sample um, so that's why I walked in there to, to ask uh, first impression on this Miss Dior solid uh, perfume Oh my god like the it's so tight uh the lid to actually pull it out um like do you twist it oh it looks like it helps but i don't think it's a twist mechanism let's just try again um 
Yeah. Oh, look, it's just so tight. I mean, it looks great on the website with the embroidered, you know, pink case. It's very cutesy. Um, but I have to say, yeah, I was expecting more of a metallic material, but this is plastic. I think like it's plastic kind of coated with a metallic paint to look like metallic. Um, I was expecting more of a lipstick type of case, but uh, anyway, um, yeah, I just thought it's interesting with a solid perfume um, to to try it uh, for a luck like from a luxury uh, brand. Um, because I've been just thinking like sometimes when I am in situations where I don't want it to be too um, obvious with the perfume um, that a solid perfume might be uh, a good alternative on those uh, days and in those situations um, yeah look not impressed with how flimsy this case actually looks and you know it's expensive I think with this amount of product you get this is like a hundred dollars australian dollars um yeah yeah I, i'm not so sure about the packaging i mean the texture is quite nice when i apply it on my wrist um it doesn't feel sticky so i guess that's a plus um yeah but i i need to really test it out and try it for for longer to really be able to comment on whether i love the scent or not you know, first um, smell of the scent, um, very floral, that's all I can say. Um, now, this is the deluxe uh, sample. So apparently, you don't actually get the sample when you purchase online, is what the, the sales associate tells me. Um, but she was very kind to actually just help me out and, and just give me the sample. Um, you know with 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 my purchase in store uh, okay this is a twist um, mechanism definite um, the bottle is quite cute uh, definitely from the packaging perspective this is much better this freebie is much better than the solid sample uh, the solid perfume which I have to fork out hundred dollars to pay for so there's that uh, the smell is quite lovely. It's again very floral. Um, oh, the solids perfume I got is the Misty or Blooming, the Order Toilet uh, solid perfume version, whereas this is the Order Parfum perfume. Five ml sample with a very cute miniature bottle. Uh, look, not complaining. This is, you know, sort of free with purchase. Um, but then again, I'm sure it's kind of calculated in their profit margin to be able to give these very freely and still make a substantial profit. Now, the star of the show. Um, this is actually why I went out to shop, um, is to try to pick up something from Chanel from my local boutique with my um, sales associate, who is extremely lovely and we really clicked. Um, so yeah i texted her to look for a specific item during the pre-sale period and then i also decided to try some makeup there as well she gave me this free sublimage uh, sample um, she said she loved using these herself and so that's very kind of her because i think this is like the most expensive skincare range so that's a like concentrate um so i was looking for a new eyebrow uh pencil um so i went in there and asked her to you know help me apply some makeup and to sort of you know try this um eyebrow pencil because my the one i'm using is uh running out soon that was from hourglass the number 808 um it's actually made in japan um as opposed to made in france um but when i when she applied this for me um it is just yeah it's just pretty um i just love how natural it looks um and softens my brows but at the same time defines it um if that makes sense um but then i also tried some eye makeup there now i originally was interested in the solo uh, single palette the lilac um because i thought that would you know be very uh, nice for my skin tone maybe perhaps but um you know it wasn't quite for me um 
not because it didn't look nice when she applied for me, but I was just thinking, ah, look, with my bad makeup skills, I don't think I will make it work without making my eye look like someone's punch me and make me look bruised um, so I picked up the Ravage uh, eye palette instead I know it's a bit late um, when it's been very much hyped with this um, palette um, it was I think previously sold out online but I think now they've restocked it and I find uh, when we try this application it's uh, yeah, much easier I would think for me to apply it myself Now this is really the star star of the show. Um, this is the number five uh, lure in limited edition. I have to say I have not smelled number five lure. Again, I'm very very junior in terms of my luxury perfume journey and per any perfume journey, per any perfume in general, luxury or not. I am a newbie, um, so I don't pretend to know much about perfume, um, but I am certainly getting a lot of joy out of um, using perfume nowadays, um, and I saw this um, limited edition bottle on Super Jacob's channel, if you haven't uh, come across his videos and his channel, highly recommend you to go to him yeah, and and he unboxed this um on his uh, channel and posted um a few um pictures on instagram as well and it is such a lovely bottle again i'm a sucker for packaging and bottles um and i just couldn't resist uh, not getting it not getting one for myself um, I did sort of tested it in store because I'm unfamiliar with this perfume at all I mean I've had number five tried them you know before sample size and I find it I like it but I don't love it and more because it's, it does feel a bit more warm and powdery um, to me um, but this uh, number five lure, it's got that more freshness and citrusy um, smell to it initially when I spray it. Um, and I think, yeah, look, maybe I actually enjoy this more than the actual number five. Again, I've only used a sample on number five, so I probably haven't tried it for long enough to really make a comparison. And I haven't really tried this number five lure for more than just you know during in-store experience um so yeah i'll probably make some follow-up videos now the other freebie that i got in with purchasing this limited edition from the store is this very cute um keyring um that's got the ribbon that says number five lure and um basically a miniature metallic version of the actual bottle and we'll just remove the stickers um, so that we can get a proper look um, so here yeah very shiny can you see you can just use it as a mirror oh my god i'm trying to focus it so that i don't give too much of my private life away um, and here just bring it into more of a focus uh number five your chanel is engraved onto it oh my god my hands are very dry isn't it i'm telling you i just wash my hands so much so frequently um maybe i should try the chanel hand cream hey next time um uh, actually no i don't think i should be sticking the stick it back on now that I've removed it I have a feeling it's gonna get sticky and oxidize the um, the heart the metal um, which is not what I want to do um, yeah so pretty um, would I be wearing it as a keyring probably not because I don't actually use keyrings nowadays um, but it does look nice it's just pretty and I just who doesn't love a freebie um, and yeah so this is it from me today I hope you've enjoyed the video don't forget to thumb up the video if you liked it uh, and subscribe to my channel um, I would also leave another video um, 
uh, that you might enjoy um, and until next time you all take care bye